have pruned the apricot so we have um we can see through it i can stick my hand through it lights coming through which i need at this time of year as the sun continues to move south in the sky when it sets for my garden plus why not prune it let it keep growing how i want it to be a fruit fruit next year and i want the arch i want the privacy um, that's how it should look that's how it should look look at that we've got some product in here that people pay me to take away that i turn into delicious worm <laughs> into worms that turn into delicious eggs it's been sitting here for a few weeks but beautiful compost out of that this is chicken food because this turns into compost then I have self-seeding chickweed here and I have my Bengal cats that are now free you've been set free my boy and you're a very good cat just wish I had a dog but I've already got six cats to feed six cats to feed but these two here they eat more they eat the same as the other four so I've actually got eight cats Oh, here's another one. They're all hungry. They're all hungry. They love the garden. Hey, wolf. Wolf. Good boy. And this will, this space here will transform. It looks like a mess. There's silver beet seed here. Um, yep. Kale seed. And it looks like there is miles of seed germinating um, under these um, plants that went to seed. So I've kept the seed, I've harvested the seed in a couple of different ways. Some are in bags in the in the plastic bags in the garage so the seed will eventually fall out when it dries some have been shaken out onto the ground sweeped up and put through a sieve and into envelopes um, and as you just saw they're already growing <laughs> without any effort whatsoever but that might all not grow too much because this will be chicken feed as well because this is a sprouted um, seed there you go there they are lots of them there brassicas from probably a, a um, one of these um, kale gone to seed that I've already pulled out that was growing in this area celery just neglected I've already got two over there growing massively um, see this is all chicken food potential chicken food um, and I do need to think about winter storing it for winter because I think I've got I might have 10 bags of wheat berries when that's gone I don't know if I'll be able to get any more I really do not know honestly that's a long time it could be up to 10 months away and am I going to be able to get more <laughs> I really don't think so I'm not gonna count on it I'm gonna plan and, pre and prepare for a different world and a different way of living thankfully my property is fenced <laughs> and I locked the gates because people were just walking in like I was a freaking theme park or something because I got my cats, my chickens, my garden, my compost. I have a lot of work to do and it's fun as.